Good morning, loved ones, on this Friday, the 15th of January, here. And we're in the book of James, and finishing chapter 3, we've just talked about wisdom that's from below, which is full of the world, the flesh, the devil, and the world is pleasures, possessions, pride and prominence, prestige among other people. And then there's wisdom that's from above, verse 17, one of my favorite verses, really even in the entire Bible. And then he says, emphasizing peace. We as Christians should be peace-loving people. James 3.18, now the fruit of righteousness. If a person is truly righteous, if a person is genuinely saved, God says they're going to have fruits that prove it. Now, it, it's not our works that save us. He says, if there's genuine salvation, there is going to be fruit of that genuine salvation. But just because a person acts that way doesn't mean they're really saved because it's not those works that save them. But if a person really is saved, they are going to have fruit. So here's a fruit of real genuine righteousness. It said, it's sown in peace by those who make peace. They sow seeds of peace and they reap harvests of peace and they make peace happen. In other words, they fight hard for peace because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. God wants us to be peace-loving people. In fact, he says in 1 Timothy chapter 2, he wants us praying for our civic leaders, governors, kings, authorities, presidents, senators, representatives, governors, city council, city commissioner, county commissioners, the list go on. He wants us praying that we would live quiet and peaceable lives. That's one of God's goals for us as we deal with our government. Loved ones, I cannot tell you how disappointed I am with some people who call themselves Christians who are not very peace-loving who have words that are for war, tone of voice that's for war, thoughts and Facebook messages that seem to be for war, for agitation, for getting worked up, instead of promoting peace. Now, sometimes in order to have peace, you've got to make a little bit of war in order to have the peace. But we're sowing seeds of peace and we'll reap a harvest of peace because of Jesus, the Prince of Peace. So let me ask you, do you stir up peace or do you stir up gossip and stir up discord? What you think on tells us. If you're thinking about how people have wronged you, if you're thinking about all of these bad things, you're not going to be sowing seeds of peace because you're meditating on discord. Loved ones, We've got to be thinking about Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Satan is the opposite of that. If we're not becoming more like Jesus Christ, we're becoming more like Satan, constantly agitated. Satan never takes a day off. There's never a moment's rest for him. Someone once said, that's one of the things that makes him the devil. Loved ones, we've got to be people who promote peace. May we be people who are peaceful. And yes, sometimes we've got to have little stands and little scrimmages of war in order to have ultimate peace. But may we be peace-promoting. Proverbs says, any fool can quarrel. May we not be that any fool that quarrels. May we be peace-promoters. Let's bow for prayer. Lord, Help us to promote peace, which means we promote Jesus. In his name, amen.